Welcome to the litmus test. We're out and about with Daniel Gray. What do you think the industry futures is? Like what, what could happen? Um, well, I think uh, video on demand is going to be massive and I, hopefully more content is needed for that video on demand and hopefully some more money starts going back into the music industry, the music, music video side of things because at the moment there's, there's no money in music videos at all. And also I believe in short film, I hope that that, that, gr that really grows and alongside that web series, you know, web series that are basically just a bunch of short films. And you can, you know, you could utilise lots of people, get lots of people working and you can make a much cheaper version of entertainment that way. Not many Australian films actually do well in the cinema these days. Uh, they aren't finding an audience. Do you know why that might be happening? The problem with most of our productions is uh, they're inevitably in going to be low budget. And the films that, that really are making money are the... The big, the big tentpole films. Big, 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 uh, same around the world, in actual fact. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a theory, and I, I don't know how long cinema is going to last. Um, to be honest, because um, I've got my screen over there. Um, it's going to be 4K before too long. It's going to be bigger, and better, and um, I, I think something like. In the future, like Dressmaker that we've made, w will be promoted uh, and it will come on on maybe Tuesday night mm. at 8.30 all over the world at or market by market, right? Yeah. And you'll pay your money. So it'll, it'll get back that, that films w will be made for... So we won't even bother with a cinema release. Many I, films I, aren't yeah, no. these it, days. It, 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 it's, it's, if, they can get, if they can get 10 bucks for people to tune in and do that. Mm. Uh, you know, it's, it appears to me to be a much better market proposition than, than the cinema now. Um, what do you think about piracy in films? It seems like a victimless crime, but it's not. The middle budget films in between about 20 million to 75 million have all but disappeared. But you mentioned bringing out those big um, runaway productions here, like Wolverine. Do you think we still have a market for doing that, bringing those big productions to Australia? It, it'll all depend where the dollar does go, because they, the, Hollywood just goes to the cheapest place. You know, if um, we offer the tax breaks and the dollars in the right corner, then yeah, I, I, our, our, our crews are recognised as being good crews around the world, and um, it's, it's a good, safe location. Does that yep. help the Australian film industry, though, having these runaway productions come here? And we're just working on American films? I guess at one level it, it maintains a, a crew that when somebody does get an idea, and they can do the dressmaker because we're all around, we're all working. And we're experienced. We can, we, we can, we, they're, they're, and, and we're trained and we're equipped mm. and ready to go. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's the big advantage. And what's the difference between the Australian industry and the UK industry in any way? The yeah, I mean, everything is, yeah, I th that there's, a, there's a work ethic here that I think is really good. I think people here want to work. I think people here enjoy working. At the same time, there's also uh, it's quite a laid back attitude here. No one here, uh, w when, you're, when you're a Brit, and you're living in the UK, and your entire worldview of Australia is basically built on neighbours and home and away. <laughs> the first time I came over here and I heard someone say the phrase, no worries to me, I thought, oh my God, you actually say that. But at the same time, actually, it's a really healthy attitude that Australia has. It is like, you know what? If everything does go to hell in a handbasket, we'll sort it. I like that attitude because at the, the very heart of that, is a real kind of ethic that says we want to succeed. We're not going to go. Oh my God, it's all gone to pieces. Run away from it. Give Everyone up. here is like, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll we'll find our way through. That's a very healthy attitude to have, particularly in the entertainment industry. How do you think filmmakers can go about raising money in Australia? The golden question. Yeah. Well, I think I think the only way to get a feature made is through government money, through Screen Australia or Screen New South Wales, um, then I think you can get your feature made. Otherwise, it's incredibly difficult. Um, 
a friend of mine, John Frank, uh, just produced a, a feature film called Teenage Kicks, and they did a huge uh, thing through Kickstarter um, with enormous amounts of social media awareness and stuff, and they raised uh, 67000 So that's they good. That's great. You know, yeah. sounds good, except the feature films don't cost 67000 They cost at least a quarter of a million. John Frank still had to come up with another 240000 to get his film made, and they were still short on the money for post. I think probably the biggest problem with Australian films is that they are Australian films. That they are Australian films, films yeah. and they don't translate well overseas. Oh. I mean... American films come out, but they're not American films. They're stories, you know. So we keep talking about Australian films. Don't we tell stories well enough? We're a bit too involved with our own image sometimes. A bit too parochial. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe, um, and, and there's a time to do that. And there's a time to go out and try and make a world film. Yeah. Yeah.